in the Times Square station, and we are actually gonna take the S over to Grand Central Station. And the S, the sign looks like this. Just so you guys know. The S. It's basically the shuttle. Ladies and gentlemen, please be careful of the gap between the platform and the Here it comes. The next train to Grand Central will depart from track one in two minutes. So we got two minutes to sit on the train. Watch the gap. Ah. And there's Joe. Hello. Hi, Joe. Look at the chocolate seats. I know, I feel like I'm sitting in chocolate. I feel expensive. Now, usually they'll have two of them going, right? Oh, look at that. Gotta watch out. Watch your step. So, they must be doing a lot of work down here because of. Um, COVID and whatnot. Because usually they have two tracks running. Don't you have to go up and out? You have to go upstairs, don't you? I don't remember. I forget. I'm a terrible tutor guy. <laughs> There's stuff at the street level. You know what I'm saying? And we're going to go up to the terminal. This way gets you out, and this way we get to go in. So let's take a little walking tour. Going to the main concourse. Now they have a lot of everything, like everything in New York has been under renovation because of COVID, because it's a good time to do it. But you can see the ceiling.
This is the main concourse. And normally on a super busy day, this would be packed. Do not just love this. I love this. places they have here um, at Grand Central Station is the dining concourse. There's lots of different restaurants, um, little food stalls, things like that. I haven't been here in forever, but we're going to go down and we're going to see what we can find, okay? Pretty empty. Oh my god, it's absolutely empty. This was full. Like you had Harry's Oyster Bar, um, lots of coffee places, everything would be down here. This would have been the buzz like everybody would be a buzz down here totally getting food moving through this area but from what i see that like, they're not even slightly open we have a snack bar a market wasn't there a Johnny Rockets or something down here too? Oh, Junior's was down here too, yeah. Tripping chicken. But everything has been closed. Oh, wow, it is totally a dead end. That's it. So unfortunately, it looks like everything down here is been closed due to the pandemic. Yeah, everybody would go to like the oyster bar down here because it was like huge and like the place to be. But unfortunately due to the pandemic, they are not open. I thought maybe they might be open because of dining is starting to open up today in New York City. But we'll continue on. All these like station people should be punching my ticket you know with their cap <laughs> and over there like these passageways those go to the trains the train platforms and up top as you see or what track it is. What we did find 
is the Grand Central Market. And even though the sign says the dining concourse is open, it really isn't. There's nothing down there. And the market is where they have lots of different like little shops inside here. But as I said, we haven't been in here since the beginning of COVID, so we don't know what it's going to be like. That's what everybody exit. It's rather fun. Look at all the food. But it's basically a spot where people can come in if they're coming and traveling in to Grand Central Station to go somewhere else. They can pick up some things. You have your chocolate. Meats and your cheeses. This is Murray's. This is one of our favorite places. You get all the spices and the teas you want. Mango hibiscus. Even though there's a lot of empty space, there are still places that are open. Look at that. That's a little tour of Grand Central Station right now at where it's at after the pandemic. You know, come down, if you're coming through, it's a good thing to go through the market, to pick up a few things if you want. You can always take the shuttle over to Grant, from Grand Central Station over to Times Square, and then you can get anywhere you need to be. So, see you next time, bye. Thanks for watching. If you like what you see, hit the thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Click on the bell thingy so you don't miss anything new. See you around.